Hi kids! Wow, after so many years, Joseph saw his brothers again for the first time since they were mean to him, and they sold him into slavery. But they didn't recognise him, did they? They even bowed down in front of him. Hang on, does that remind you of something from earlier on in our story? Yeah, yes, God gave him dreams about his brothers bowing down to him, didn't he? And now they're coming true, right in front of Joseph. Joseph's brothers are hungry and they're desperate. He's the only one who can help them. When they last saw him, Joseph was just a scared boy, but now he's the second most powerful and important person in the whole of Egypt. If he wanted to, he could just pay them back for being so mean to him. He could send them away with nothing to eat and no food, or even order the guards to hurt them. But what did he do instead? Help them. He helped them. He chose to help them and give them more food than they had even asked for to begin with. He made a choice to forgive them instead of being angry with them. You know, it can't have been easy, can it? His brothers had really hurt him. But God helped Joseph to show his brothers love and kindness, even though they didn't deserve it. And God can help us too when people hurt us. Imagine these two bits of paper are your heart and somebody else's heart. And when that person hurts us, this happens. Oh dear, that's very, very crumpled and wrinkled, isn't it? Even if you try to get rid of the rumples, they're still there. You could choose to stay angry at that person, but does that make your paper any less crumpled? No, it's just as bad as before. And the other piece of paper, well, that still looks fine, doesn't it? But what about if you choose to pay back the person who was mean to you? And you do or say something to hurt them. Crumple yours. Well done. Does that fix the problem? No? Now both bits of paper are crumpled. But when you take the things that have hurt you to Jesus and you ask him to help you to forgive the other person, he can take what feels broken and crumpled and make it better. So it's like new again, just like these were in the beginning. Now, forgiving someone doesn't mean you're saying what they did was okay. It was wrong that Joseph's brothers said, sold him onto slavery. But when Joseph forgave his brothers, he could let go of that hurt that he felt in his heart. When you forgive other people who've hurt you or done something mean, it doesn't mean that you're letting them off the hook. <laughs> but you're choosing to let go of the hurt in your heart and allowing God to come and heal you. Why don't you try having a think to see if there's someone who might have hurt you and ask Jesus to help you forgive them? Thank you, kids. Bye.